So in this video, I wanted to revisit these two pens from Zebra and talk a little bit about swapping out their standard refill with something that is maybe a little bit better uh, or that some people will actually prefer. Uh, these are two pens that I was really excited about when they came out. Uh, Zebra hadn't come out with new pens like these for a while. The G750 is sort of the uh, kind of an upgrade, kind of a predecessor, depending on how you look at it, to the famous F701. It obviously moved to a more modern body and to a gel refill. That's why it's a G750, not an F701. F being the uh, marker for a ballpoint, G for gel. I also really like this G450. It's a smaller pen, more affordable. And same thing, it kind of had a predecessor model in the F400, F401, something like that. And this is the G450. Uh, but I feel like a lot of people, myself included, didn't end up using these as much as we kind of thought we would when they were being announced and then we waited for them to get released just because the refills in them are kind of so-so and uh, it depends on some other, you know, uh, you know, drawbacks to them. But let's focus on the refills for now. The refills for these are proprietary, so they're not that easy to replace, and uh, they're gel, and they're small. So basically, they wear out quickly, or they run out quickly, and they don't write on as many surfaces as you'd like, and they're hard to replace. That's like a, a uh, three conditions that make them kind of hard to get behind. Uh, so I kind of use the pens a lot initially, and then put them down, and, and haven't really thought too much about them over the past year or two. But then recently I stumbled on one of them and I was like thinking to myself like, wow, I'd really like to start using this G750 again over the past year or so. I've been using the uh, some, some of these like larger metal pens more and more. And I thought, wow, this is like kind of in keeping with what I'm looking for. So why don't I do some time with this, uh, spend some time with these two and see if I could find a refill that's a little bit more in my keeping. The kind of refill I stumbled on after a bunch of testing and research online and stuff like that is something from this pen. This is a Pilot Acro 300, one of my favorite ballpoints, as people know. Uh, I just really like the body. It has this beautiful design, kind of classic looking, but it flares out really nicely. So it's wider here than it is at this waist. Nice click, and it has a really high-end ballpoint refill, kind of like a it's Pilot's take essentially on the Jetstream refill from uh, Uniball. This uses a refill called the, and this is where it gets a little bit confusing, but the BRFV, that is the sort of model. And this one is the BRFV 10M, so the medium, which is like a, uh, it's, it's actually quite wide. There are other ones that they're all called the BRFV, uh, but it might be the 10M or the 10F or the 10EF, depending on the tip width. You don't want to confuse these with the BRFN, which is a smaller refill. They're not interchangeable. Uh, that's also an Acro Ink ballpoint style refill, but that's not what we want. I did some testing so you could kind of see what's going on here. Here's the BRFV in that M. Here's the fine. Here's the extra fine. These are all the same refill shape. And then here's the, the zebras I had. I think one was a uh, smaller size than the other, or maybe I swapped it out for a different refill at one time, a different zebra refill at one time. But essentially, here's the comparison. And let's look into how you kind of make this change happen. So we'll open up the G450 at this time. It doesn't really matter what you use, because the refills are interchangeable. And we see this is basically an unbranded, Oh, it's not unbranded. It says Zebra, but there's no real model information on it that I can tell. I think if you look really closely, there's a there's a K there and some serial numbers. It says Japan, but it doesn't say, you know, that BRFN or whatever the equivalent would be from Zebra. So what do we see here? Skinny plastic refill, no spring stops, those little wing things, nothing like that. And then uh, kind of a non-standard length. We've seen, the other, seen other refills this length, but it's hard to say exactly that one we know of is gonna be at this same length. You know, coming to mind would be something like this. This is the Jetstream SRX 80. 
in this case in the 1.0 millimeter, my first guess would be like, oh yeah, that, this is like a really close match. But <clears throat> if you go ahead and put the two next to each other, <clears throat> you could see that the SRX80 is actually a good deal shorter than this refill. So you'd have to put something behind here. Uh, you know, this little piece would work, the tip protector, but that, it's like not a really easy thing to do. And then it sort of kind of has to wobble around back there. And it's really pretty hard to figure out what the contour of this back area is like. You can't really get in there without rooting the pen. So can the SXR80 work? Maybe. Then you have to worry about the kind of the front half. Does that work? No. Okay, so it's too skinny. So let's rule that one out for now and think there's better options. Again, myself and I think other people online at this point have landed on the refill from the Acro pens, the BR uh, FV. No spring stop, quite long, so there's a lot of material to work with. This tip area is a little different, but if you do, you know, if you're testing, you will stumble upon these being fairly similar. Look, this front area, while contoured differently, not crazily different. The two metal pieces are about the same width. And then even with this relatively new BRFV, you can cut it back and it can be the same length as the Zebra. And you're not getting involved with that little stopper there or any of the ink. So you could cut back even a new pen. If this was... If this ink was out here, you just have to use it until it was here. You can't really pull it out and you don't want to cut it by the ink line. It'll just ooze ink all over and ruin your pen. So this is a new refill. This is the uh, BRFV. This is the, the 10M. So out of the red pen, I clearly didn't use that one in my testing because I didn't want to ruin this one. That's my, my favorite. I did use the pen from the kind of the most affordable I use the refill from the most affordable pen in the Acro line, which is the Acro Ball. It has this sort of sneaker grip. You can see clearly the refill has been removed. I could have also used the refill from this pen. This is another Acro 300. Uh, this one is a little bit more rare because it is, uh, and I don't know if you could find this blue color readily, and this is the BRFV-10EF, so extra fine. I don't know if those are as easy to find as the others. So I didn't use that one, this pen's intact. I used this one right here. So this is a BRFV-10F. You can see, clearly not a factory cut there. It's done with a pair of scissors. Just like any scissors will do, you just wanna get your scissors and kind of chop it, it'll work, not a problem. You can use a straight edge or a razor, whatever you have. And you just wanna cut it to be, no surprise, the same length as the Zebra refill. You could see here that the spring stop on the two, it doesn't use these little wings at a standard length. Instead, this uses this little ledge right here. This one uses this little ledge right here. There is about a quarter inch difference between the two. Okay, so now it's time to actually do the swap. So uh, you have your refills, you have your donor pen, you cut the refill to size from the pilot. And uh, let me just say first up that I'm still tweaking how this should work on the G450. The upper portion of this pen is skinnier than the 750. So I haven't really perfected how the refill for work what should work in here. Maybe it's a different refill, maybe it needs to be trimmed down. I'm still playing with it. So if you have any comments, or you're doing any experimentation on your own, please leave them below and I'll check back maybe do a video in the future about the G450. Focusing on the 750, basically what you need to do is you open the pen and you'll see the secret right now. To compensate for the increased shoulder height, so that's the distance from the tip to the spring stop between the original Zebra pen and the Pilot pen, this is taller, right? So you need to stretch out that spring and Put it here and now that longer shoulder height has been compensated for the original refill will still work fine if you ever want to go back to it but we'll set that aside now and we'll put this in here and we'll see how it works
It's a really great click. You have more pressure, so it's harder to push down, which I know a lot of people like. Sounds a little bit better, which is essentially a stronger spring. And uh, that's really all there is to it. The confusion comes from if you were to use the standard spring from the pen, which we'll look at now because the spring is the same in the 450. The springs don't want to come out on their own, so you need this little paper clip to kind of push it down, just angle it a little bit, and it's not that hard. Now you can see the difference. With the standard spring, it's too short. So when it goes in here, it kind of leaks out a little bit uh, and it doesn't have as much pressure as you want. Sometimes the tip will kind of hang out down here. It's not ideal, but by stretching it out as we did here, you ensure that the pilot refill will work perfectly and you won't have any problems. Sorry, the, uh, yeah, the pilot refill will work perfectly and you won't have any problems. That is basically all there is to it. Now we have a pilot refill. So this is a, it's a Zebra G750 in with the uh, pilot BRFV-10F in this case. So what we've done here is we've upgraded the pen to what I consider to be a superior refill. Uh, and we've also swapped it over from a gel to a ballpoint, which I know a lot of people want from their sort of like everyday type of pens. The ball, ballpoint refill is just more versatile. It writes on more surfaces. So a lot of people prefer it. And honestly, these Acro, that's A-C-R-O, refills are really nice and smooth. It's a modern style ballpoint. So you're getting a lot of the positive qualities of that gel refill with none of the weaknesses. So uh, basically now we have a really nicely swapped refill in the G750. Again, this isn't gonna work so well in the G450 yet. And I'll show you why, even though it's not probably super pertinent, but the 450, the bottom half works fine. You know, it's a little bit tight, but let's call it working. The top half, it's just a little sort of narrow here. You can see it doesn't fall out. It's sort of stuck in there. So if we put it in, it gets stuck there. There's just like a little bit of friction going on in there. And you know what? If you push it down, it'll work, but there's just a little bit of friction in there. I'm still trying to figure out. So maybe I need to shave this down. Maybe I need a slightly thinner refill. Technically it could kind of work, but when I'm looking for a refill swap, I really want it to be perfect. Like sort of like factory type feel kind of how the original is. If it kind of like works sort of, that's not really that appealing to me. So the G450 still working on. The G750, I definitely do recommend you go ahead and put down a cut down Acro refill in there and you still get that factory style click. So yeah, nice little swap and you can get this pen over to a ballpoint as many people really wanted it to be. Thanks for watching.